Hey everybody, it's lake day, it's beach day. I'm here, it's beautiful outside. I've got my 22 Tundra Limited. I got my Airstream. We going camping, holiday roll. Oh, 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 oh. But we're also gonna talk about the 22 Tundra Limited. Let's do a deep dive, my friends. So this right here is the Limited. We've got six different trim levels. We got the SR, the SR5, we've got the Limited, and then we're gonna go with Platinum, 1794, and TRD Pro. So there's six different trim levels. I would consider this one be the life of luxury. <sighs> Player's choice, which engine do you want in your Limited? Do you want the base model, we'll call it, and it hurts me, it hurts me deep to say it's even a base model. This is a 3.5 liter, V6 twin turbocharged engine, right? That's pretty strong. What's it gonna do versus 21? Well, 389 horsepower, 479 foot-pounds of torque, or you can go with the iForce Max engine, which is gasoline engine plus hybrid with that one big electric motor. It's gonna give you 437 horsepower and 583 foot-pounds of torque. This is gonna be matched with a 10-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission with intelligence. It's gonna have lots of different shift points, so it should be smooth sailing between zero and your top cruising speed. It's got tremendous low-end torque, whether you get the base model twin turbo or whether you get the hybrid iForce Max. Let's walk around this Airstream that happens to be attached to this Tundra Limited supersonic red. What? It's got the full hookups, the full wiring harness. It's got backup sensors. It's got lighting. And look at that three dimensional tailgate. Boy, that water looks great. All right, so we're gonna walk around. See the flares. And this right here, we've got 20 inch alloy wheels and they're a two-tone with a dark metallic gray along with the lighter metallic accents. Let's keep going. You'll see other features that remind you that this is a limited chrome door handles, window accents. Got a panoramic view monitor here. Blind spot monitor. Got some towing treats too. Yes, sir. All right. This is a workable, functional brake vent. It cools the brakes. So it looks good. It also does its job. And then look, this wraps around here. The LED accent light wraps around. Looks like four jewel design. The LED accent lights. It's got parking sonar. And look at that grill design. Got gloss black accents, lighting everywhere. How does that look, everyone? I love it. With the metallic silver accent surround. And look at this muscular toughness. It's like the Toyota representative said, it's like a punch in the face. This is a muscular car, muscular truck. Okay, we're gonna finish walking around here. Just wanted to give you the, the scoop. And of course, towing capacity, why wouldn't that be important, especially if you're pulling this bad boy here? She's a real beaut, Clark. Well, towing capacity on 22 Tundra is up to 12,000 pounds with a maximum payload capacity of 1,940 pounds. It just depends on the trim, the configuration, what you, what you, what you want.
Time to look inside the truck so that we can see what the Limited is all about. Beautiful interior, available panoramic moonroof. Since this is new, we're checking out bottle holders. We're looking for grab handles. We see them on both the driver and the passenger side. We're seeing we've got a up and down. It even twists the back of it and then lumbar support. Now this is a prototype, so not everything is completely finished. It could change a little bit from what you see with more premium materials. Interesting pattern here. The seats are very comfortable. They're plush. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think. And then look at the combination of dark gray, lighter metallic, black, a few other colors along the way. This particular one has an interesting storage system here. Let's see if we can get that to work here. This one closes like that. You can also open up the whole darn thing and get inside here. Just more of the technological capabilities so you can be more connected than ever in your vehicle. And look at this, wireless charging at about a, gosh, it's not a 45 degree angle, it's more than that, 55, 60. But it holds in, it's wide. Very cool stuff. And then look at our tow haul controls, our different drive modes two wheel, four high, four low. And of course, since we've got crew max, don't forget you can get this in five and a half or six and a half foot bed now because it's a crew max. People have been asking for that six and a half foot bed. All right, more of the interior. Look at all that leg space. What do I see here? I'm going to see rear air vents. I see different options for connectivity. 120 volt grounded outlet. A big storage pocket right here. Cup holders. All right, let's look out at the lake. Obviously dominating everything is the 14 inch screen that you see there, along with a another screen set up here multi-information display with your gauge cluster there are two different configurations for that as well me likey Heidi ho neighbor we're going to free up some space right we're gonna pull that up and we've got some underfloor storage we're gonna look at that a little closer. Can I do it this way? I can. Oh, all right. I like that. And then I believe you release it with that strap right there. Headroom space is good. Look at the legroom, guys. That's ridiculous. It's got a little bit of a hump here, says Buffalo Bill. Rub the lotion on the skin. Then we've got a nice, comfortable middle seat here. Three Full size, regular size adults would fit here no problem. I'm sure you could get, I don't see why you couldn't get three car seats across, booster chairs, I don't think it'll be a problem. I like the side pockets here for people behind the seats. Pretty impressive, let's get out. Whoa. Now, notice how this seat came down here. I can do this on this side as well by pulling this strap. There's some storage back here, along with your jack equipment. Yeah, people always ask for underfloor storage in trucks. You're gonna be getting that in some Tundras. Can I get a round of applause? This is pretty exciting stuff. Now look at the limited front end here. Deep dive, right? We've got the LED high and low beams. We've got these LED accent lights going all the way around. They're fishtailing across here. LED fog lights down below. 
Boy, that is bright, but it can look great, right? But it also helps you with visibility, like you're on a country road. You might be able to see deer a little bit easier on the sides with these LED. That is really bright. She blinded me with LED. So let's take a look at this 14 inch screen, right? I mean, how can you not? It's incredible. It sticks up a little bit and that'll help with limiting distractions because you're looking here. If you had it down here, you'd have to look down. So it's more in line with where you're gonna be focused on driving. And we'll give it simple commands here. We'll say, okay, Toyota. What do you want to do? Weather forecast. It is sunny in Frisco, Texas, and it feels like 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, Toyota. How can I help you? Radio station. What station do you want to listen to? Okay, Toyota. What would you like to do? Set a destination. Where would you like to go? Okay, Toyota. How can I help you? Locate Italian restaurants. I found 15 results. The first is Buca di Beppo Italian restaurant at TX121. Would you like to go to that one? Uh, yeah, that sounds fantastic. Thank you so much. I love you and you are the best ever and we are best friends. I would swipe right. Just know that if I wasn't married. Say yes to select the location or no to read the next location. I was you just saying if I wasn't married, I'd swipe right for the navigation system. I love it. Let's try out the panoramic view monitor and watch the different views that you can get of this one. Some other features you can see, favorites, we can tune, we can do Sirius XM, that's very cool. We can do audio, information about the vehicle. can change our settings. You can set up different profiles for different people. And then we've got Tundra Limited Airstream. We could do personal information, Bluetooth. Go back, general, notifications. Pretty cool stuff, right? And then down here we've got dual digital climate control. So many different features, heated and cooled seats, your defrosters for both sides there. And then we've got, I believe this is the controls for the new suspension, the air suspension. You can do it manual or auto. And then this is the trailer backup guide. Some of these things are not connected right now. Brake hold, electronic parking brake. In our different drive modes. We can be in sport mode, eco, and then you can also see it right here, eco, normal, sport mode. Now, since the vehicle is not hooked up for driving, you can go to four-wheel high, four-wheel low, Four high, two wheel. And then look at the steering wheel controls. They're real easy to use. You can go across your multi-information display. Look at this, trailering information here. You can actually lock up or link up your Airstream with your truck. It has straight line assist. It helps you back up in a straight line. It's got our pitch and roll meter. Right now we're at zero. I wanna be more tire pressure. Lane tracing assist, pre-collision system, blind spot monitor, parking sonar, rear cross traffic alert, all the trailer information. Let's see if we can get to that one. Select or add a trailer, deselect trailer, edit a trailer. Light check, light check. Okay. 
It's got a rear seat reminder. And then different settings for units and things like that. Let's finish out some of the displays that we see here. See, I like that everything is modernized now. It's all high tech. It's all digital. I love this. Hey, looky here. Panoramic roof. Little pocket here for storage. Memory seats. When I drive this, not yet, but when I drive it, you're gonna see the accelerator pedal has been changed to give you a more dynamic ride. This is the auto start stop. Got automatic braking, send power to the 120 volt, heated steering wheel, automatic high beams, a lot going on, leather wrapped steering wheel. If you wanna know about the back window right here, push open. And then here are your panoramic roof controls, including Safety Connect. It'll have a sunglass holder. And a lighted mirror all the way across. The roof, the roof, the roof is panoramic. And as we're out at the lake today, we've got us a panoramic roof. And I'm hanging on for dear life. Hey, look, it's Toyota. Holla. It opens up 50% of the way, exposes light to people in the back seat. Boy, the sky looks really weird today, doesn't it? And one last look here, we've got trailering LED lights that can be controlled from the front. LED tail lights. That's wild. An integrated bumper. That's right, I said it. There are also bed lights as well that you can get. Along with that composite bed. And look at this, here's the power. Along with tie downs, deck rail system all the way across three different sides. You can put your cleats in here, strap things down. Thanks everybody for joining me at the lake today. I love the sand. I'm just gonna chill out here, catch some rays film some videos. I'm so excited to be here. Thanks Toyota for inviting me and I hope you like the Tundra Limited. Stay tuned and please follow along. We're going to be binging my Jeff Flix series, Jeff Flix 2022 Tundra Stories. So please follow along. You're going to be seeing a lot along the way. We're going to be learning all about this awesome machine, this monster, this beast. So please hit subscribe to Toyota Jeff. You can subscribe to my sister channel Auto Jeff Reviews as well. And then Tell me in the comment section, what do you think of the new Tundra? What do you think of the Limited? What features jumped out at you? Remember, there will be some features that are optional, that are upgrades, that are standard on here. We're still learning those as this evolves, but we're meeting this for the first time. So again, please follow along on the next video in the series. I think you're gonna like it. Thanks so much. See you next time.